Hey guys! I thought today I'm gonna vlog. I'm gonna take my sunglasses off so you can see me. I'm actually at the train station. I'm gonna go to Vienna with the train. It's now 10.45 a.m. And the reason for it is actually because my MacBook broke, by the way. I brought some iced coffee with me. I didn't even have time to drink coffee at home. Um, I thought it would be fun to have an iced coffee together and I'm gonna explain to you why my MacBook broke and what happened. What happened? My MacBook broke, no, it's Monday. It's Monday, so it broke Friday a week ago. I actually was editing a video for YouTube and I haven't been uploading for two weeks now, which is because I have no MacBook. While I was editing, suddenly there were little black squares and gray lines on the screen. And it was so weird and I thought, okay, just restart the MacBook and maybe then it's gonna be fine. It was not fine. Then I started hysterically crying. It was in the evening, my boyfriend called the Apple support because I was so hysterical like I couldn't even talk okay I was like oh my gosh I need my MacBook I need this I also had to finish my uh, seminar paper for uni so not only did I have to edit a video I was done I was literally done and yeah then my boyfriend called the Apple support but nothing really happened because he doesn't really know much about MacBooks so it was kind of a mess and then they closed or closed like they only are there to call until 8 p.m. and I think it happened around 7 and Saturday I was at work so I couldn't do anything but I still called because I wanted to make an appointment for the Apple store because on Monday I was going to Vienna to meet a friend if I have to go to Vienna um, it's best to go public with public transport and not by car because you can't park anywhere I think it's easier to go public but I have to buy a train ticket I was like okay can I have an appointment for Monday for the Apple store the guy at Apple support was like no we first have to disclose is closed like make sure it's not a software issue calling them sunday when i called them i was calling them for around two hours two two hours calling the apple support i mean they were really nice i did a couple of things nothing worked i was super upset obviously and then on monday i called again and said well what we did didn't work but i had to go to vienna so i didn't have time i just called and made sure they knew that it doesn't work so they can prepare for tuesday they called me on tuesday we tried a couple of things and then we did a report to give this report to the engineers like the technicians you know the tech people who know more stuff and they said yeah it will take like two to three days until they answer but then we sure know what it is i talked to a lot of different people and they they always said they're sure it's a software issue then the answer came from the engineers and i had this woman who was taking my case she said like yeah she's gonna do that she said she's gonna call me on thursday 9 a.m just like on tuesday on tuesday she said it could be that it's not 9 a.m because she could have another call and it's gonna be a little bit later so i thought the same would be for Thursday. what happened she called me at 9 9 freaking a.m and until i was at my phone she the call was over so i couldn't answer i immediately wrote her an email because you can't call them back they can call you but you can't call them back immediately wrote her an email that i missed the call but now i'm ready and the only thing that she answered was yeah that was the only time she had this day we would have had talk for another hour so she could have just called me back you know what i mean like our call would have lasted probably another hour so she must have planned in an hour for my call but then she said no he doesn't have time anymore and i have to call the apple hotline but she wanted to have my case and take over my case i was super upset because obviously then you get someone who doesn't know the case and has to get into it again so i got to someone new she had the answer from the engineers and then we did the same two things we already did on sunday and i was like and that's all that's that's what I waited for two days and she was like yeah that's all can't do anything anymore it's not a software issue it's a hardware issue you have to go to the Apple store and make an appointment and I was like but that's why I called a week ago so that I don't have to I mean, obviously it wasn't her fault, but I just felt so like they could have told me a week ago. I mean, it's not that bad, but now I have to go to Vienna again, buy a train ticket again, and the laptop is pretty heavy and I have a lot of stuff with me. So, okay, I have to close the door because there is a guy and he's looking like I'm insane talking to a camera, but that's okay. Yeah, but I'm super upset because it, obviously it's my time and I have to go to Vienna again, like spend the whole day maybe in Vienna. I don't know that's the problem like i don't know if they're gonna tell me it's gonna take a week it's gonna take two weeks 
if I, sh if I just should wait and I can pick it up in the evening. I have no idea if they can even repair it. And the best thing is, I have no fucking idea how much it will cost. Like, I'm not gonna spend, I don't know, 500, 600 euros on my MacBook. It's over two years old now, which is not old. Obviously, I wanted it to last for at least another two to three years. But before I invest so much money in this MacBook, I'm just gonna buy a new one. Like, it's not worth it in my opinion. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Um, that's my experience with the Apple support. I'm gonna update you. Maybe in the car when I come home or in Vienna. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens today. I also don't have a lot of storage on my camera because I couldn't upload the footage that I was already filming onto my MacBook. I already filmed three videos that I need to edit. This is the fourth video. <sighs> it's all such a struggle and I only have one memory card. <laughs> so hard being a small YouTuber. And broke. I gotta go now. My train is coming in 10 minutes and I still need to drink my iced coffee and buy a train ticket. So I'm gonna see you later. It is 6.30 p.m. and I went at 10.30 a.m. to Vienna. Guess what happened? Um, when I wanted to buy my train ticket, they said that the train won't drive from the station where I was from or where I wanted to drive from. So I had to drive to the next station like a crazy woman trying to get catch my train because I had my Apple appointment and I needed to be there on time. What happened when I came to the Apple store? Like this day was a disaster. When I came to the Apple store, they told me I don't have an appointment appointment and I was like but but I made an appointment and he was like but did you get an email and I was like no but I reserved this ap appointment at this time and he was like no you don't have an appointment and we are very busy and I was like but I, I just drove here to Vienna I I need to I need my MacBook and he was like well he can put me in the waiting list and this will take about two to five hours and I have to stay in the area. So I couldn't go to the gym. I got into the Apple store at 4.30 p.m. I was sitting in front of the Apple store. I got some Starbucks, but I was sitting in front of the Apple store for two hours or something. And then fortunately, a friend of mine had time to meet and we went for a burger, which is great substitute for the gym. Like very proud of myself. When I went to the Apple store, you know, to repair my MacBook, he told me to repair it. It would cost 540 euros. And I was shocked. My MacBook is over two years old so obviously that wasn't an option for me. So I was really... Uh, I was sad and I didn't know what to do. And he said, well you can't give me 10% off of a new MacBook. And I was like, but that's still a lot of money. Like that would have been 1100. And then he said, well in your case because your MacBook is so new and the only thing that isn't working is the display, you can give me 30% off. 30%. And so I, I have a new MacBook now. <laughs> That's what happened. Yes, I got it in silver because I thought the rosé is a little bit too much. What do you think? I got the MacBook Air, by the way. It's the cheapest one and I don't have a lot of money. Yeah, I got it for 840, I think, 840, which is a great price. He was so nice. I was so sad because I spent so much money on this MacBook when I bought it new, like the MacBook Air. I bought it two and a half years ago. It was my first MacBook. I saved up for it. I was super excited to get it. And obviously I was so sad that it broke after only two and a half years like if you don't have a lot of money like me this is a lot of money to invest in one thing and by the way i need a new iphone in fall so i didn't plan on buying a new macbook i was a little bit overwhelmed of the free colors and everything and then i was so paranoid because i had to go to the subway and to the train that someone was stealing my macbook <laughs> on my way home that's how paranoid i am but you guys i have a new macbook i just wanted to tell you and i'm just gonna go drive home and test it out maybe i'm gonna show you should i do an unbox Unboxing maybe. Either I'm gonna do it today or I'm gonna do an unboxing tomorrow. Still have to think about it. I'm gonna say goodbye later. I have to go home. My mom is with my dog. So I'm gonna see you at home a little bit later. But yeah, I got a new MacBook. Um, and no, I wasn't that excited. I'm just trying to see the positive in it. Obviously, I didn't want to spend 800 euros today on my MacBook. I was hoping that I could 
repair it and that it wouldn't cost that it wouldn't cost a lot but i could have cried at the apple store when he told me how much it costs to repair my macbook and that i have to get a new one like literally i wanted to cry but i am trying to see the positive side and i'm just excited that i have a new one and that i can edit videos for you and hopefully this will pay off hopefully please watch my videos please <laughs> Hey guys, from my home. I'm now finally at home. I'm so glad. I think this whole video was quite a mess, but I hope you still enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I should include the MacBook unboxing in this video, but you're gonna see it anyways, what I did. Or if I'm gonna film an extra video. Because I actually wanna remove my makeup now, but if I do the unboxing, I want it to stay on. I mean, not that you care. <sighs> I don't think it would make an extra video because it would be pretty boring because I think it's only like two minutes or something to unbox this thing. Definitely have to get a new case and everything which is quite exciting to have a new MacBook on the one hand. On the other hand obviously I didn't want to spend that money. Other than that I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit the bell and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did Thank you so much for watching this mess. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!